What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we're doing another episode of Chasing the Best Work Footwear. So I have got sent a pair of boots from Rock Rooster Footwear. I am going to unbox them and check them out for the first time. You're going to watch on camera. Let's go inside and check these things out. Alright guys, let's get down to the real reason why we're here. Let's get these boots opened up here and take a look. Now, like I did say before, I did get gifted these boots from Rock Rooster, which a great shout out to them. They wanted to send me a pair of boots, and I guess I'm a uh, big enough time to do that. But I uh, said I would give them 100%, you know, my honest opinion, and give them you guys a fair review of exactly how I felt. So good, bad, indifferent, here we go. <clears throat> All right, so uh, first thing I always look for in a boot is the style. Do I like the style? <laughs> if you know me already, you know I love the style of this kind of boot. So if you don't know anything about Rock Rooster, they're a company out of Australia. Uh, they have a warehouse here in New Jersey. Uh, and so these boots came to me very quickly. Um, the leather on them is pretty darn supple. Um, let me get these things. I'm, I'm getting excited already. So... I, uh, I hope you can see these boots okay in the in the light here. Maybe I'll aim this light up a little bit better here. Uh, the leather looks great. The stitching looks awesome. Um, yeah, these are pretty darn good. Looks like a cork um, a cork sole underneath here. Um, I know a lot of boots are PVC. Um, these look to be cork. So uh, a great boot, great construction so far. Um, they look good. I like the boot laces. Boot laces are pretty darn uh, up to par with most other brands like uh, Timberland and stuff like that. They have a nice boot lace. Um, if I can get this darn tag off here. Let's get this tag out of the way here. What does the tag say on it? Cool Max. Uh, reactive Defense. The right amount of comfort and performance when you need it the most. All right. So I'm excited to get these things on my feet and see what they're like. Um, I think this is considered an, a, a six inch boot here. I had it pulled up. Pretty darn impressive so far. So this actual pair of boots, I'll roll in uh, a clip of it on the, the internet right now. This goes for $118 or the, this set of boots, 118 bucks. Um, yeah, they are, um, pretty darn, uh, reasonable when it comes to price for what you're getting. Um, they are right on the money with, uh, the price. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better price. Um, you know, Timberland, you're looking at 200 bucks or 180 for a boot kind of like this, a wedge sole, um, and especially if you wanted to go with thorough good, you're looking at well over $200. I think my thorough goods were $240 for a boot like this. So, uh, you know, this is very, very reasonably priced. So I'm going to continue getting these uh, taken apart here. And then we're going to put these bad boys on my feet. I love the style of these boots. Um, from first look here, I'm pretty darn impressed for what they are. Um, that everything looks awesome on them. Uh, I'm really excited to try them out. They definitely have a sole that I haven't seen on any other boot. You know, oil and state uh, slip resistant uh, and abrasion resistant. So I'm really, um, I'm really curious to see how this is going to work out. Um, it seems to be a a, a hard sole that's going to hold up for a while, but. I guess we're going to find out. So what I plan on doing with these boots is obviously we're going to roll out the, um, the first reaction on what I think about them and just 
my overall thoughts on unboxing them, which is pretty darn good. Um, I really like the leather. Um, they're already, um, already really supple and soft, and that's something that you don't get from a lot of places like Thoroughgood or um, or Timberland. Um, Keen is is the only other boot that kind of uh, you know has a supple kind of leather. I don't know exactly what leather they use on this upper. Um, but it seems really, really soft, and it seems like it's definitely not going to be harsh at all on you. Now, these are non-insulated or non-lined, so, you know, the raw leather's on the back, and it seems really, really soft. Um, I like this edge around the top. Um, <laughs> these are pretty darn sweet. Um, let's check out the insoles in these bad boys. So, oh, from what I can tell, it's pretty darn thick. So, some, some really nice insoles here. It's really thick on the bottom, or really thick in the heel here. It's a pretty darn look, good looking insole for, you know, just the regular boot. Looks like a pretty good construction. So I like it. I'm going to give them a thumbs up for sure um, on the initial unboxing. Um, I haven't put them on my feet yet. We're going to do that here in a minute. I plan on doing uh, a million steps in these boots before I report back to you. So you'll see another uh, video in the future. Uh, it's probably going to be in 50 to 60 days. Any uh, as soon as I put uh, uh, a million steps in them, I will definitely shoot you guys another video and tell you what I think about them. We'll look at the wear of the of the sole and see how they're how they're doing. Let's go ahead and take these outside. We're gonna put them on my feet. And I'm gonna see how they feel. Initially, comfort-wise, uh, I'd say they're pretty darn good. They feel exactly like some thorough good mock toes. Um, and the wedge soles seem to be great. Um, the comfort level is probably just as good as thorough goods. I can't complain. They're really, really nice to walk in. And uh, the unlined leather feels really, really good on your ankles and stuff. Um, they seem pretty darn good. I, uh, you know, it, it seems like oh, I'm gonna, I'm all of a sudden a hype boy because I got a free pair of boots. But man, these things are pretty darn good. So, I mean, I don't have anything bad to say about them. I think they're, they're pretty awesome. I can't wait to get some miles in them, and uh, see exactly what the future holds for these bad boys. I'm gonna put these things to the test. All right, just so you guys can see exactly uh, how much these boots weigh, I figured we'd put them up against some other wedge soles. So these are thorough good mock toes and they weigh uh, two pounds, one ounce. These are Timberland Pro Gridworks wedge soles. They weigh two pounds, three and a half ounces. And our Rock Rooster wedge soles come in at two pounds, two ounces. So right in the middle between the Thorough Goods and the uh, Timberlands. So back to a regular scheduled program. All right, guys, well, there you have it. My first thoughts on these Rock Rooster footwear boots. Um, if you wanna know which ones these are, these are the men's wedge style work boots. Um, I don't know the exact number on these. Um, I'll push it a link out of these exact boots in the description below on their website so you can uh, look at them yourself. But uh, they have a leather welt, um, true leather welt, not PVC. Um, let's see here, what else? They have a cork wood midsole, so sweet. I was right, it was a cork wood midsole. Um, pretty darn good boots. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. You guys can check them out. Um, I'm pretty excited about them. I hope that uh, you guys found this video informational and uh, you stay tuned for the million step update with these bad boys because I'm pretty, 
I'm pretty impressed with him so far initially. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.